Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we are talking about a specific sensor, an intelligent sensor, yeah? which is already talking to us. Yeah? This sensor is measuring humidity and temperature of the air surrounding. Yeah? Looks like this. It's called DHD. This is a DHD11. There are also other DHDs. For instance, you don't have this one in your starter kit. That's the DHD22, I think it's called. It's a little bit more exit uh, accurate, uh, precise. Usually it does not really matter. Uh, if you're looking at your DHD, yeah, it's located on a little circuit board. What is interesting, if you're just looking at the sensor, even if this is another type, it functions pretty much the same. Yeah? If you're looking at the sensor, which is also located on the circuit board, you can see it has four connectors, like this sensor, four connectors, but the circuit board only has three connectors. Yeah? However, this is bus communication, okay? So we need a power supply, plus and minus, five volts and ground, and then we have one bit for data. And this data is pulsing serial data. Yeah? There is zero one zero one zero zero one one zero whatever comes, yeah? And there must be a so-called pull resistor, and this pull resistor here, this is this little thing, yeah, this here, this is already built in on this circuit board. So if you're using in a future application somewhere this plain sensor, you have to take care that this pull resistor is there. Okay. You also have to take care about the pin. But since we do not have this one, we have this one in our starter kit, we're using this. Okay. So where are those things? Yeah. Here, the last one, this is ground. Huh? Pin number three is ground. The middle one, this is power supply. So here we have VCC, usually plus five volt. Yeah. And here we have data. Okay. So these are the three, the three things. Yeah? And if we are plugging the thing now in our breadboard, ooh, oh, we need to be careful. <laughs> if we are plugging, I will plug it like like this. Ah, it's not that easy. If we're plugging this in our breadboard, yeah, now we'll turn it around because then you see from your point of view better. So the one where the resistor is, this is data. The middle one is the middle one is power. So I'm connecting this to the middle one to plus. The other one. To minus okay and the third one is the data pin here back data pin huh? then we only have to connect it to our Arduino huh? power supplied there the Arduino power supply is enough huh? plus 5 volt and ground. And then we have to connect the data pin to a I.O. pin of the Arduino. I use two. Why not? Every, every I.O. pin is possible. Okay. So this is the hardware setup. And with this hardware setup, we should be able 
to read out the information of the data. So we only need one cable, since this is an intelligent sensor telling us this via bus. We only need one cable and power supply to read out information of the, of the sensor, which is temperature and humidity. How this is working? Huh? We also rely on somebody else's work by using a, a library. How this is done, which library to be used and so on, this will be done in next video. Okay? So now you know what the sensor is, now you know the hardware setup. Next video, programming. Okay? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.